<laughs> All right, how's it going, guys? We are here at our, one of our favorite spots, the Bando office. Today, it's a gorgeous day. I'm back in Atlanta. I wanna get out and fly. I wanna talk about some new products, some different things that I'm trying out. Number one, I've been on that Evo, that uh, TBS Unify Evo, and I got some new merch for you guys. Who wants to put their buddy in pit mode? I'm just saying, I will tell you all about it coming up. For right now, I just wanna go fly a little bit, trying out some new gear. Number one, the TBS Unify Evo, and number two, I'm back on Betaflight, doing some testing with the Radix flight controller from Brain FPV. I also have a 4-in-1 ESC from Hobby Wing. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go fly. I'm gonna see if I can get happy with uh, the stick feel in Betaflight today. I don't wanna make that the whole focus of the video. I got too many things going on. Do or die, who the fight the king? That's suicide, you denied, you can hide for now But soon, I'ma move aside where you reside Don't close your eyes, I'll leave you deprived Of every little thing that you work for Getting every single thing that I work towards Can't forget about the days we was dirt poor Me and you in the same game, but I'm worth it Don't fall asleep Okay, so, real quick while I'm here in the field uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about the TBS Unify Evo. If you haven't heard about it, it's a cool new VTX from TBS. Uh, same great features, five volt power supply for your camera, but lots of cool new things. Number one, it has its own OSD. So if it's talking to your Crossfire receiver via the CRSF, uh, I'm not gonna go into how to wire it. I'll th throw up like a little screen grab or something of how it's wired. But if you turn on the CRSF, uh, CRSF, it will take all of the telemetry data and do the OSD for you. It has its own OSD menu where you can change VTX settings, put it in pit mode, etc. It also has the ability to be run through Smart Audio on the Crossfire receiver, Smart Audio on your flight controller. Uh, pretty much any way you want to run this VTX, you can set it up to do so. If you want to turn the OSD off and just use it like you know, a normal Unify with Smart Audio from the flight controller, you can do that. If you want to use it where you use barcodes that you hold in front of your camera you can do that there's a whole list of barcodes you get them on your smartphone there's a little app you say race eight max power hold that barcode in front of your camera the vtx changes to that output it's super slick and easy if you want to mess with your buddy you can get my pit mode enabled shirt link in the description and uh grab your buddy's quad and put him in pit mode it's funny they have to get either a barcode or something to get it out whatever i think it's funny <laughs> 
<laughs> um, let me show you guys the, the OSD menu for the uh, TBS Unify Evo real quick. As you can see, we got the OSD up and running. If you are connected through CR, the CRSF port, you can get to the VTX's OSD. The way you do that is the old stick command for disarming, which is low throttle, y'all left, and it, you have to hold it for like three seconds. There's a countdown. You can see right here, right away. We got channel, band, power setting. You can change your temperature limit. You can put it in and out of pit mode. Uh, actually, you can't take it out of pit mode through the OSD. Uh, if you put it in pit mode and your only way of controlling it is the OSD, you have to use the hold the button as you power it up. You can also use a uh, barcode and show the camera the barcode to disable pit mode and it will come out. You can turn the mic on and off. This one is currently off. You can make the OSD white or black. It's kind of a neat thing or turn it off. So if you didn't want all of the data on the front, you can have it off. And there is an expansion port, which can be used to connect to current sensors. And I believe they're gonna be adding more features in the future, but that's kind of the basic rundown of the OSD menu as it stands right now. Now the VTX has a USB port for um, firmware updates. The TBS agent uh, now has lots of different settings for your VTX. Let's go back to the studio. I'm just gonna show you guys the TBS agent and run through all the settings. All right, so I just wanna show you guys a couple of quick tips. Number one, all the different ways that you can connect the TBS Unify Evo to your uh, setup. Also, how to update the firmware and what the settings you can do on the computer. So let's, uh, without any further ado, let's rip right into this bad boy, all right? I grabbed a fresh one here just to, uh, I've been getting them all updated and making some changes. One thing to note with uh, the Unify Evo here is it's a, it is kind of uh, got a short lead. I have extended that lead on the ones that I'm currently using and reheat shrinked it. It's got a nice little anchor point for that UFL to uh, SMA extenders. So I just reheat shrink it all up and I have plenty of lead to work with with the builds and the way that I do my setups. As you can see here, it's got a lot of connectors. It's gonna come with this plug here. It's gonna go into your main plug. That is gonna take you from the seven to 26 volt input. A ground, you wire that up to power the whole setup. It also has a breakout cable to go straight to your camera. And if you're gonna use this as the OSD, I would recommend doing that if at all possible. I've got a lot of things that I'm testing, so it's not wired that way. I'm getting a lot of flicker in the OSD, but I feel confident that when I settle in and I'm not testing as many things, um, you know, use the OSD wired the best way and i think the best way if you're using this as an osd straight to your camera then you also have crsf tx and rx in there that can be configured either through the osd or through the uh, tbs agent x let me just say thank god finally tbs agent has a uh, mac client so you plug it in and you get just these flashes now you can see here uh that i have a new unify and it's got a little green dot showing me that this one's connected i do have quite a few of these i'm putting them in all of my builds uh and if we click here on manage you can see the uh we get into all of the settings now over here under firmware you can see that it's currently on 1.03 but we have 1.05 available there's release notes telling you about the fact that now it has stick menu navigation so if you're wiring it up to your receiver over crsf it knows what your stick inputs are and you can drive the OSD just like you would on a flight controller. In fact, you can use this OSD and the flight controller OSD all at the same time. Let's go ahead and update that. Just click update and you will see, click the update there. It's gonna to come to here, click update. The lights are gonna start flashing. We got blues and reds. Uh, saying that the update is in progress. And once the update is done, we'll go through all of the different settings and the ways that you can wire this guy up. Completed, configured. Now, on the configuration page here, under general, the data port, that is your CF, CRSF, TX, and RX. That can be configured either under CRSF or smart audio. If you wire that with, if you select smart audio, you can either connect it to a UART on your flight controller to control the VTX, or you can connect it to one of the ports on your Crossfire receiver and on the outputs on your Crossfire setup, 
tell it to output a uh, smart audio on what whatever port that you wire it to uh, or pin that you wire it to and you'll be able to control your VTX pit mode output through uh, the Crossfire module if you have the full one through the Lua script if you have the Crossfire uh, if you have the the smaller Crossfire transmitter you can also set it up as a PWM switch if you wanted to control uh, you know what I'm not sure exactly what is done with the PWM, so I'm not just not gonna worry with it. For me, I'm gonna be wiring pretty much all of mine up over CRSF. Uh I just feel like it, it, in my experience, it's been more reliable. I may or may not be using the OSD. Uh, I would like to see more of the OSD be configurable, but I think that we're going to see more of that as the TBS agent and the o and all of the options evolve. Now, the external port port currently is just for a current sensor. I'm not using that. I am using the OSD, so I leave it white. Five GPS off, don't have those. You can turn the mic on the VTX either on or off here. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter to me, I don't run audio. So you can set your channel and everything over USB. As you come down, you've got the VTX setting where you can put it in and out of pit mode over USB if that's what you wanna do. Uh, say you've broken your button. Uh, these are all things that I find to be nice options because sometimes you break the button off maybe it gets put in pit mode how are you going to get it out of pit mode well you've got multiple options with this vtx you can connect it over usb and do it in the uh tbs agent you can do it over stick commands if it's wired up that way you can do it over uh it's just so many options Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's move on. Call sign. I run it. I just put in Stingy uh, for now with the OSD. I don't know. I've got to figure out where I'm going to settle on how I use the OSD. The channel mapping. This I definitely do. You have to tell it what your first four channels are or what your control channels are on so that the stick commands work. Uh, for me, I have T-A-E-R. So throttle is one. T A. Roll is two, pitch is three, yaw is four. T-A-E-R and we are done. And uh, you also get the about page that shows you the hardware, bootloader, all, all that stuff, which is really kind of irrelevant. That is all it takes to set this guy up. Uh, wire it as the wiring diagram that I'm showing now. That is how I have wired my VTX. I have tested it out with a smart audio feature connected to the uh, Crossfire Nano receiver with the smart audio connected to the flight controller with the CRSF protocol talking across the board. Uh, and I think that I'm probably going to stick with the CRSF talking to the receiver and then using the barcodes for my day-to-day -day, like quick change operation. Let me, let me show you guys how that works. So what I have here is my drone from uh, Drone Clash. The VTX that is in this build is a Unify Evo. I'm gonna use this setup on the bench to show you guys how the barcode scanning feature works in changing VTX power outputs. A quick shout out to my buddy APOC. He is the one who, uh, he wrote this uh, web app basically. Real quick, just to show you guys how this uh, application works. You can select your power output on the top. You see how it's changing the barcode as I scroll across these? You select what channel you want in the next row. Um, sorry, the band, the band on the next row. So I'm gonna run race three at 25 milliwatts, because I don't want to overheat it, I'm on the bench, I'm just doing some testing. Now also, pit mode enabled is a barcode, and pit mode disabled are a barcode. And if you're curious, this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, as you see, it says pit mode enabled, and this is the barcode to put a Unify Evo in pit mode. If you want to get this shirt to put your buddies in pit mode, or, uh, I mean, have it at a race and be able to quickly put your quad in pit mode, the, uh, the link to get this t-shirt is in the description below. Hello. I hope you guys think it's funny. I'm gonna be creating some more t-shirts with uh, the barcodes. Like if you wanna run race eight for the day, be like, look, this is my t-shirt, this is my channel, I'm done. Uh, all my quads are set, I put point them at myself and I'm done. That'll be uh, up for order. Now there's also pit mode disabled is a barcode. So it's currently working, we're on race three, blasting 25 milliwatts. The OS, hopefully the uh, DVR is working to record it. I'm gonna show you guys how the t-shirt works. All right, so I'm gonna just grab my buddy's quad and point it at the barcode. Boom, and it just went to pit mode and we have nothing but static here. So pit mode works. If you wanna come out of pit mode, you just need the pit mode disabled barcode, which uh, is available handy dandy on the app here or the web app. 
flash that in front of the camera and video is restored. So it's that easy. If you want to change channels, just come up here. I'm going to go back to max power race three, cause that's kind of where all my quads are currently at and uh, pop that in front of it. And it just, oh, that's cool. Uh, if you notice on the DVR that I'm recording, I'm going to show you guys when I flash the, the uh, even though it's already on race three, when I flash this in front of the uh, VTX, it shows race three, 800 milliwatts. That's the setting you just commanded. I read that. Aye, aye, Captain. If you guys have any questions about how this system works, let me know in the comments. It is pretty straightforward, especially with the barcodes. That's just going to work. If your VTX is getting the video signal, which you want it to be, then it's going to read. Now, there's a little bit of an issue where some of the cameras I have, like that is a Swift and it is working great. I also have an Eagle, which doesn't work as awesome with the barcodes, but I've been told that there are... Uh, firmware updates coming that are going to address the issue and make it much more functional. So if you have one of those cameras that is not working the greatest with, use your stick commands for now and know that the barcodes are coming and uh, it's pretty sweet when it works. So hope you guys enjoy that. I'm going to go back. We got, a, I got a lot more flying. I flew one pack that I don't know how many things I could explode into, but I promised the guys that I was going to include this one uncut. So uh, get ready for a second uncut pack. I'm going to let it go and back to the flying field. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Suit of armor, you can't harm us Step in my light, I'll show you darkness I don't know you, but I know you can't hang with us We dangerous So get lit up, pull the trigger Head, feet hit the mic Please don't get up, reconsider I feel like a monster when I pick the pinner Tonight I'm having all my enemies for dinner <laughs> Head with scissor, blackjack the ripper Half man, half lizard I don't walk, I slither The winner, the wicked winner Come hither, come across the river I am my contender, get realer You decide, do or die, who to fight the king That's suicide, you denied, you can hide for now This guy's just rhyming, he's not even saying anything that makes sense Oh god! Oh yeah, 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 that was all dumb. That was too much. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I've heard a million concrete slaps. How are you still flying? He's not now. See. Oh wait, that was just He's about to be. Flipping back over. There he is. Once again, here we go. Know the name, know the flow. Turn me up a little more. I'm setting traps, I'm alone. You know you act, I'm a maniac. Well, you know I'm black to the bone. Pick a place, pick a date. I go go cool, pick a low. Thought you was good, huh? Take you out back, drink through the woods, huh? Thought I was weak, huh? You ain't see the work I put in all week, huh? Give me that, where the city at? Nitty gritty, this one gonna be pretty jack. Not afraid, get the fuck away. Y'all used to hate, look at what you made. When it all goes you down, exploded like 30 I'm a times. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I'm in love with you. This battery is going to be the end of that. I wish you could record this line aside. This is what we're saying. Don't die in this town. This town. Hold up, homie, last you have to post this yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I can still hear the hate. Oh, God, that's what I'm saying. people in their cool intentions. Crazy team trying to play me. Boy, you wouldn't even make a You have to post that. I'm on board with this plan. Look at this. One pack. I don't know how many explosions. <laughs> you need 
need to you need to feel that front right motor first. The GoPro won't even like, quit ten, recording. Ten front right motor. It's actually not bad. Not? No. no. Fill them. Fill them all. All right, so that was a pretty good day of ripping. Got a, uh, finally have a, a beta flight set up that I'm happy with. I mean, I haven't tried in a while. It's been a minute since I was flying beta flight, but the new VTX is working great. Hope you guys enjoyed getting an overview of how it is that I'm using it. There's a lot of different ways you can wire it into your setup. So uh, get it set up the way that works best for you guys. Uh, all right, I'm gonna wrap it up and go get some tacos. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you later this week. Bye. Seven, Fifteen. You almost touched that shit. I saw that. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Literally, here's the light pole, and he started falling. Ten. Nine. Woo!